Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm assuming it's maybe not so good if you're uh, watching this video. Maybe you have a similar issue as I do. Automatic trunk, but it makes a little clicking noise. This video is uh, how to show you. I'm going to show you how to swap out the trunk shock. Yeah, my my car's not exactly uh, the newer ones that are cool enough to have the little button up here to close it, but it does pop open and it opens a little too quickly for my taste. Uh, it's just this car's an 04, so she's had her number of trunk openings already, so the shock's most likely worn. Uh, I'm going to show you guys pretty much what to do as far as uh, swapping it out. You need the shock, of course. I got this off of a website for about 130 and you need some basic tools. The tape wasn't really for anything, more for my uh, little license plate cover invention here. And I'm assuming I'm going to need some of the, the little pliers just in case I can't get it off with my hands. Just the uh, retainer clips on the shock. And uh, I guess maybe the proper name for it, it's a strut. It's an integrated spring. And a Phillips, or not a Phillips, a, uh, a flat blade screwdriver. Honestly, I don't think. Yeah, some depends on how how many times you've opened your uh, you removed your trunk trim before. All I'm going to be doing is the shock lives behind this uh, this piece of carpet trim here. So what I'm going to do is remove both of these. All you have to do is give them a what is that? It's a quarter turn. So turn them from horizontal to vertical. There's one here and one here. And the other thing you might have to do is uh, lift up your spare tire um, cover, the floor of your uh, trunk. And I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand, but maybe not. And just kind of lift up, lift up over here, lift up over here. It'll be a lot easier when you do it with both hands, but basically get your hand in here and just lift up, up and towards the inside of the car. And it should be enough to dislodge. Sorry for the shaky camera here. Don't have a tripod. I'm doing this with my cell phone. And, uh, you guys can figure out the rest from here. I'm just going to pause it for a sec. Get this uh, piece of trim out. But yeah, careful. Your battery is back here, so do not drop anything metal. Uh, that can cause a short. Alright, so all I did was uh, take the trim piece out, the trunk liner. Back here you've got your fuses, your battery, and more importantly, for this job at least, your trunk strut, or shock. All it's uh, holding it in, I believe, is this clip here. This is my first time doing it, and we'll find out. And back there, there should just be the the other side, maybe a similar clip. We'll find out. Uh, careful when you do this. Uh, this is holding your trunk up. You guys can see that it stretches and moves with the uh, opening and closing of the trunk. So. Yeah, if you have any trouble with that, you might need the little needle nose pliers for this, or the screwdriver. Now that that's off, I'm going to use my shoulder and my head to uh, kind of wiggle the trunk up. Once that's up, and back here, yeah, it's trunk's definitely falling on me right now. But uh, all there is, yeah, lighting's not really too good. You know what? What's the point of me showing you the how-to video if you don't see what we're actually doing? So, all it is is a bar, a little, uh, I guess, a mount for the shock here coming off of the, uh, the trunk hinge. So, there is no retainer on this side. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. Get you guys a better view. But uh, all you do is just slide down. It's simply a hook that you see there. So, come down and... Uh, just slide it off. Here we go. So yeah, the clip is still off. And remember, the trunk will fall on you if you're not careful here. So I just simply, I'm going from here where it's attached. I roll it, wiggle it, roll it. It slides right off. And that's the old one. Uh, also, a little bit of a tip. Maybe I'm cheating a little bit, but uh, I got my dr I'm on my driveway, and the car's nose is a little bit downhill, so I guess that attitude's helping me. Now, time to 
take the label off and install the new new assembly. I don't believe it's directional, so um, yeah, they look both eyelets look about the same size, same length. Uh, new ones looks a little longer, but maybe it's just the uh, different colors. But yeah, other than that, I don't see any structural differences or. Uh, Oh, there we go. I found out something that's different. There's a O-ring piece on one side, so I'm going to install the new one, same as I took the uh, original equipment one off. All right, time to put the new unit in. Uh, same deal. We're going to come in. Oh, it's real difficult to get a good line shot, but get along that hook. Yeah, I'm kind of hesitant to uh, put my battery, my flashlight that close to this battery. Be careful, you could short something. But uh let's see if I can get a good view here. There we go. So come in O ring forward, facing the front of the car, just like the OEM unit, come up and just wiggle on, roll it on there. And same thing is uh how we took it off. Might have to massage it a little bit to get it into the right spot so it comes over easily. Don't force it, you could bend something. And slide it back on. That's all there is to it. Reinstall the clip. And replace all your uh, trunk trim the same way. Yeah, massaging the uh, trunk trim is pretty easy to get back in. Just make sure to pay attention to these tabs here. This tab in there, that tab down there. I believe there's one down, down here at the bottom. And slide in the front first. And close it up. And pat yourself on the back. You finished. Last piece. Alright, I'm going to go get this car off the driveway and put it on level ground and we'll give it one last test. Here we go. Let's see how she sounds. Pretty controlled. A lot better than, uh, actually, maybe that's how it was when it was new so long ago, but there you have it. Completed repair. Yeah, maybe it just takes a little break in it. Just a final update here. It's been sitting in the car for about an hour. Hopefully the shock, uh, settled. Opened and closed it about a dozen times. She seems to have smoothed out. Uh, doesn't have as hard of a kick, that little notch in the middle, and that's it.